Hello! Hello, iOS fans! It's the Agents of Kill Team! Ooh. People might be noticing we have an extra appendage here. We've got Ooh. a camera, and We've I'll just show you that. Extra appendage this. Out. this is the latest development in Agents of Sigmar tech. The we're studio. Very, we're very excited about that. Studio improvements all the time here at Age of Sigma. Always improving. And I think for Kill Team and other games like that, it's just the bees need. It'll be fantastic for everything. The fantastic panning shot that hopefully you oh. may have seen already. Yeah. Uh, is made possible by this amazing device that Pete built. You may have noticed in that panning shot that we are playing um, very much not Octarius tonight, in that we are playing Kill Team, but we're playing with. Um, all different terrain and models. Yes, it's Nurgle versus Space Marines. It's Death Guard versus Death Watch. Yeah, you watch and I'll guard. guard. <laughs> <laughs> it's not much difference, really, isn't it? Not really, no. <laughs> I mean, so yeah, we decided. You know what? Let's try a game without the. I mean, everyone and his mum's going to be doing videos with the orcs and the um, and the guard, and we figured let's try. What else we got in our cupboard? Not much. And, uh, not a lot, actually, as it turns out. <laughs> we do out, have Death Guard and do. Death Watch. So that's what we're going to be playing with tonight. I reckon you can see this could be like you know. What are they doing? They're just guarding something. Just guarding what are we something. doing? We're just watching them. <laughs> what are they doing? They're still guarding something. <laughs> what, what are we doing? We should still be watching them. <laughs> so we figured, you know what, two fairly iconic sort of armies here, the Death Guard and the Death Watch, and I think um, we, we had to try something different. I reckon these two are, are really good matches. I'm quite looking forward to this. We have actually have beautifully painted models uh, that we painted ourselves for yeah, once. Yeah. And um, I think it just, it's, you, know, you say it's iconic, it's it's... Warhammer 40,000 in miniature. It is. Speak. It is. Uh, and um, one little thing I had sort of suddenly, suddenly realised, of course, is the Death Watch aren't Primaris Marines, um, which which I thought, oh, yeah. But I don't know I don't know if they'll ever do an equivalent. I don't know. Got it's Primaris tell, Death really. Watch. I don't, know. I don't know enough about the Lord to be able to say, but uh, the other thing you might notice is not only are the models themselves uh, not um, Octarius models, but the scenery is also just around Shackle Selection of various stuff. There's Necromunda in here, there's Shadow War stuff. Um, there's some, I can't remember where you got these bits. That is from. the original kill team, I think. Oh, there you go. So yeah. we've got a big mix again because we, we want to see what it all looks like, all painted and beautiful. And this is it. And frankly, I'm loving this. Yeah, it looks amazing, doesn't it? Absolutely we're, fantastic. We're playing open play tonight, straight open play. We, 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 we will do a campaign, but we're still kind of just feeling our way into the game. And we're doing straight open play. We're not playing with attack ops cards. Um, because what that kind of felt like it skewed our previous game, so this is literally an open play game as yep. it's meant to be. Which is, uh, having said that, we're not even using equipment. I don't know whether you normally use equipment in an open play game, but we're not using equipment either. We're not even so. doing that. We can't be. We just we just figure we want to try and get a really nice basic game in with the models, yep. um, just to show off some non, uh, you know, Octarius uh, kill teams to show what it's like when you have less options around, basically, and less things to think about. Um, so yeah, we've got all the boards set up. You can already see it. We've already set up all the models. I am the defender. And this, the backstory here being that the Death Guard are busily trying to pollute all the water supplies, as they always do in these situations. And the Death Watch kill team have been sent in to try and stop us from doing that as quickly as possible. Yeah, we've got four objectives on the board. There's one up here, uh, and one there's here. one down here, and one down here. Oh, we haven't quite quite do the objectives setting the way they suggest the way they suggest you meant to put the objectives down when the table is blank and then set up the scenery mm. i don't know how many people would play that way it feels like pete and i are very sort of friendly we discuss what we're going to do we set up the board kind of via rule of call and then just agree that the objectives are in vaguely sort of fair places yeah it seems to me like the most obvious way to do it but in fact, one thing I already want to do, and I don't know if we're allowed to do this, but I think that one should be up there because it makes more sense. It's by yeah. the ammo dump. Yeah, that is a very good point. Yeah, it's so by the ammo the dump, ammo and, dump it's, and, it, and it's the high ground. Yeah, exactly. So, so I think that just works more thematically. Yeah. So yeah. there we go. We're all ready. Actually, we're all I'm going to put it near you because it's. That's very nice. Yeah. I think we, I might have meant to be. It there. has to be on the middle line. So it's got to be got to be there. I think around that sort of area. That's what we like. We're just we're very no no to you no 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 insist no you have it more no no please you you please take all of the objective points. That's what you did last time. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's bitter. <laughs> so there we go, we're all set up, and it's time for us to uh, to get cracking. So yeah. we'll start with the round one. It's not even round one, is it? It's, it's turn turning point, point one. one. Ba, ba, ba. Um, 
I am the attacker in this one. Pete chose to defend the, his uh, dastardly water scheme. First up is the strategy phase. Um, Pete, I think you choose first. Already, okay. this is simpler. I literally have one strategic ploy I can use. Well, well, there you go. It's because the other ones, there's only three for the Space Marines, and two of them are for Space Marines. They're actually two of them for Scouts. Yeah, okay. So basically, if you play Space Marines, you pretty much have access to one strategic ploy. So that's uh, another interesting thing. It already has your options cut down for you. Yeah. Um, I think Marines do suffer a little bit, but, you know, such is life. Wait, wait. You've got a bit of a million different kill teams you can have, so uh, limited sympathy there. Anyway, I'm not going to play any right now, so I've got three command points, and I'm just going to sit on all of those. And that's uh, over to you. I think I'm going to do the same. The only one I've got is tactical precision, which does allow me to have re-rolls. I can't see that I'm going to be getting many rolls in this turn. Maybe, Possibly not. But you're all concealed. So, I mean, maybe a re-roll will be useful in that circumstances. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use okay. my strategic plot. I'm going to use tactical precision, which means... Um, but they have to be well, they have to be within square of the leader. So okay. actually, it was a bit of a rubbish choice. They have to be square of the leader, and then they can re-roll their attack dice. Okay, so that uses one up, and you're on to two now. Yes. Then. Uh, so that's it. After that, we then move on to the actual alternate gameplay. Yes. Because it occurred to me, you see, that I have got so few ploys to use, I might as well use them. Yeah, not, not you're like getting I'm one each turn. Anyway. I'm not going to burn through the points. I guess you, you <laughs> might you might find your tactical ploys a bit more useful, possibly. I there are literally know, so. two. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> so, I mean, there might be. I don't know. You never know. You just don't know, really. No. Okay, so over to me, then. So I'm going to activate two of my pox walkers because they do have a group activation of two. So these first two are going to activate. And they're both just going to stumble and run forwards. So they're both going to dash to get up to this pipe here. And they're both going to do... I oh, should do them one at a time. I'm just going to do a group one together. Uh, they both then are just going to move. They haven't got a group activation, have they? They do have group activation of no, two. They do. But you do want do one at a time. I see. Um, they only have a move of two circles. So they lose uh, one okay. circle moving over that. Yeah. Um, so that's them done. Over to you. So I'm going to start by using moving my leader. It's a bit risky. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do. I think I might, I might actually get there. He can actually get all the way up to here um, with one go. So he's going to do that. Uh, and then he's going to shoot through that hole. <laughs> you can blam away at these the, over here. These guys there. Yeah. Yeah, I think I can see them, but I think they're in cover. Is that right? Or are yes. they too, yeah. Or are they far enough away? I think they're within two. They're within, they within the circle. They, and are, they are within the circle. Okay, so around. the leader has he's a death watch veteran sergeant he has a death watch bolt gun okay and i can choose the ammo uh, and actually dragon fire looks good because it gives no cover four attacks and two plus to hit now i have three defense and i'm six plus to save oh wow well i've not saved a single thing but i've hit four times Ow, so how much and damage is that? One, one crit. Yep. And th three hits. And three hits, so that's four, nine, thirteen damage. <laughs> which just so happens I have thirteen dice here, which is lucky. So I have my disgustingly resilient roll now. So I ignore any wounds on A5+. plus. So you roll thirteen dice, do you? Yep. Oh, Each okay. time this operative would lose a wound, roll D6 on a 5+, plus. the wound is not lost. And he cannot be injured. So, there we go. Oh, so I've saved one, two, three of those, four of those. Four, yeah. So that's still nine wounds, and that is enough to kill him anyway. So one of them just gets turned into mucky, mucky gore. Mucky gore. So that's over to me, mm. I presume. Yeah, oh, actually, I have actually got an activation point left. You do? I don't think there's anything I can do. I can make a dash, but... There's nowhere really to dash to other than out into the open. Um, so I think I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to pass. I'm going to activate my other two pox walkers. The first one's going to dash here. And then he's just going to move across again. And there's the other one's going to dash and move across as well. Brains. Brains. And then it's back to you again. So I'm going to move the guy with the shotgun this time. Um, and I think because you've moved there, I, can, I think I can actually just move up. Yeah, just to move. Down the boom. Up to there. So the Death Watch shotgun has cr the crypt clearer option, which is quite hard to say. 
uh, has a couple of other options, but they all have range things. It's like a torrent thing, and a, yeah. yeah, they all have range. So I'm just going to shoot you with the crit clearer, which is four dice, three plus this time. Uh, but I can re-roll due to the um, tactical precision that I took because my leader is right here. Yep. So, uh, so it's four dice, three plus. Okay. And I can oh. re-roll. Oh, sorry. sorry. I've got one save, one crit one save. Crit save. Does, that, does that deflect two? Or that is only combat. No, just one. Um, and is it re-roll any or re-roll one? Okay. So I can re-roll one of my attack dice. I'll miss with the two. All right, so that's a, that's a that's hit, but hit. no crits. No crits. So one of my crits just detracts from one of your hits. So yeah. that's two hits of... Two hits of three. Okay, so six dice. And again, I've got my disgustingly wizzy. All right, I looked at the wrong thing, actually. But it is still... No, it's actually four damage. Okay, so I've rolled six dice so far and I've got two saves. So I've taken four wounds and I'll re-roll two of those. Yep. So four, five, six wounds. Six wounds. He ain't dead, he's got he's got seven. Oh, curse you. Quaces. Okay, so it's back to me again. So I'm going to actually activate my plasma gunner this time. Now my gunner actually has... I think three APL. Oh. He does indeed. So he's going to move forwards there. He has an engage, so he can shoot. Uh, and then he is going to take a shot at your um, at your pump action shotgun wielding blokey. Okay. So he's. I can never remember the terms for it. He's not concealed, so he hasn't. He's not concealed because you're not in heavy cover. Yeah. But his he does have cover, so you do get one automatic success. Right. So my plasma gunner does have um, plasma gun, obviously, being a plasma gunner. He tried it with a flame for a while, didn't really work out. And he will supercharge it. Oh. So that makes it AP2 and hot. Hot. So if you roll ones, yeah. you I take three mortal, damage I take yourself. mortal wounds. But I do have my disgustingly resilient, yeah, so I true. could possibly lo- yeah. get rid of some of those. Disgustingly so, resilient work as mortal wounds. Yeah, it just says every time this fight would lose a wound. Right, here we go. Oh, one one. And two uh, saves. Two saves, yeah, that saves okay. three up. I need three ups to hit as well. So <laughs> two of your saves in fact you've got three saves in total, so you block off all three of my hits. And you burn yourself. Uh, but I take three wins, so I'm, I shall roll for those in my disgusting leanness. So I stopped one of them. So he takes two wounds. It's annoying when that happens, isn't it? I did get to myself in our last game. Very, very <laughs> annoying. Yes, it is very annoying indeed. Um, that's me done. What a spectacularly rubbish display there. So back to you. Okay. So I'm going to... I can gain cover from being behind this post, so I'm actually just going to do that. Just going to run up there. I can't get up the platform this time, so... That's true. And you can't stop halfway up. You can yeah. use a dash to yeah. finish it off and actually get there in, in time or whatever, yeah. but you can't use it to... So there's nothing else, yeah... That's it for him. There's so nothing else I can do. I've probably possibly made an error there, but possibly not. Who knows? We're not good enough to tell. No. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to activate two of my pox walkers over here again. Now, they're not going to lose as much movement, so they're going to do a move action, and then might as well... Uh, one's going to dash up to there, and one's going to move and dash up to there behind the cover. Okay. And that's it for me, so it's uh, back over to you. Are you sure that's it for you? Don't they have, do they only have one they only have one they action point? They move in a dash. They oh, only okay. move two when uh, they move. I they only see. have two circles. So. I see. so a dash is actually quite good for them because it massively increases their movement. It, it gives them yeah. almost another set yeah. of movement, yeah, yeah. effectively. Um, so. But it's, um, I just, so you can't you can't claim the objective, that's what I was... Not right now, that's no. That's what I was asking for. Also, they have another thing, which basically means that if I get this right, they have an ability called Mindless... Uh, which means each time they would perform a mission action or a pickup action, I have to subtract one of their APL to do so. So basically, so they, only have, gonna... they only have two. If I want them to claim that, they, they lose one else. as well. So that's all they do. Oh, that's, that's harsh. Yeah, a little, little bit, yeah. Right, so um, I'm going to move... Oh, In fact, it doesn't really matter. I don't need to measure it, really. Well, I do. I do need to measure it. Yep. So I'm going to move. So this delete. This deletes one. Yep. So it's one. Yeah. To go over anything like that, it takes off one circle. But I am within two. Yep. Easily. Yep. yep. So I will claim. Okay. Um, this and I get. So I get a victory point. Yep. So these two guys are going to activate, and they've just got a basic move, uh, and then a dash. Let's get some. 
Wow, just around there. That seems really far. Hello. That's like two. Mm. Have you considered then... letting the light of the emperor into your life? Have you considered syphilis? And that's them. So they are just all creeping around <laughs> over there like that. Uh, final guy. I'm. I'm going to. I mean, should I try and take a pot shot at the Death Guard, get into position? But I don't want to lose sight of the objectives, literally. So I think I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to run up here and um, wait. So moving a dash. Uh, I'm just going to wait there. So a bit of a waste of a. Could have had a concealed order on there, but I didn't. Uh, it's just going to hide there with the hope of getting up to the objective next turn. It's mm. worth mentioning that I can't shoot these guys because. Um, this, they can, they've got conceal orders on them. Yes. So they are. Whilst they're hidden. sort of visible, I'm technically behind cover, which yeah. means I'm invisible for, yeah. for that. I still quite can't quite get. I can't remember why I can't shoot this guy because he can't claim cover. It's because it's heavy cover, isn't it? So it's obscured. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So I can't see him. Yeah, because he's effectively sort of skulking along. Yeah. So eager to make sure I do get some victory points in this. So I am going to move my champion forwards. He does move three, so he's going to use one. APL to move out here. Do he have two or three APL? He has three APL, okay. so he has three circles on his movement. So he as moves well. three circles and has three APL. So he's, yeah, he's, he's my quite, champion. He's quite the dude. He is quite the dude. He's then going to use um, his ability. Well, he's going to he's going to claim me one victory point. Woo! One each. One each. Ding, 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 ding. And he's going to take a pot shot at your guy with the um, oh, with I the shield you over there. Can't see him, can you? He's just you know, just standing there right in the middle, of the, right in the open. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> possibly see him. Yeah. I mean, he's massive. He's running along with a massive shield that's the size of the. Size he has of, got a storm shield, car. though. Yeah, that I don't know how I mean, much I that's going to help. That, I, can't, I can't remember what that does. We'll find out in a moment. Alright, so three three pluses for you, and it's four two pluses for me. Oh, terrible roll. Oh dear. So did you get any saves there? One. One save. Is it a crit or just a regular? Just a regular save. Okay, so that takes away one of my regular hits. So I hit you twice and I do a, a critical as well. So Ooh. that is that is ten wounds. Three, three, and four. Ooh, hang on, hang on. All right, so that's me done. You've got a free overwatch shot now. So now I've gone first. Okay. I've done all my activations. That was my sixth activation, but you only have five guys, so you get a free overwatch shot off on someone. Okay. What are you going to do? Sadly, there's not much point in doing it with this guy because he can't hit you. He's got a rubbishy bolt gun. He's got a rubbishy bolt gun. So but you do have a, a much nastier yeah. shotgun over there. Yeah, so I think I'm going to use nasty shotgun. In that case, I'm just going to try and shoot. Um, so he's almost dead. He's only got one wound yeah, left. Yeah, I'm going to shoot this one. Yep, with your I think. shotgun bloke right there. Yeah, shotgun bloke. Shotgun bloke. So I've got three six up saves. Four three plus. Okay. Oh, I saved nothing. Oh, okay, well, I've only hit twice, but one's a critical. How many wounds is and that? And I can re-roll one because of them. Oh, next yes. To the, next to the leader. Oh, yep. So Three hits. Two hits and a crit. Two hits and a crit. That's probably going to be painful for you. Yes. Um. So with the shotgun, actually, she's not... Crits are actually the same. So it's uh, literally it's, uh, 12 damage, however. Ouch. Yep. So I have 12 disgustingly resilient... Those disgusting Brazilians oh, are not oh, here. Oh, oh, oh. So he gets, if you needed threes and fours, you'd have been laughing. He gets obliterated. Wow. Oh, that's dear. That's a lot of threes that's, and fours. That's peak Pete, that is. <laughs> Look at that. I, I rolled one save. One. If only, if only it was three ups to hit. You'd have been absolutely laughing. <laughs> Crying out loud. Bloody dice. Okay. So that's oh. it. That's the end of that round. Yeah, that is the end of turning point one. This one's turn point two. It's time to roll for initiative for round two. Now, I kind of feel like I should have the initiative because this guy's nearly dead. Because you rolled for it? <laughs> well, I can choose, can't I? You should go. You can. You know, I've got my boss on. Oh, I've, got, I've got to, haven't I? Because he's only got one move left. 
You're my boss? <laughs> no, oh, my, you're going, my right. guy's only got oh, one wound. Oh, he's only got, he's only got okay. one wound left, yeah. So you're going to go first. I'm right? going to activate first. Okay. That's all we've got. We've got to reset all our markers. Yep. Now, you don't choose the orders until the point at which you activate them. It's worth pointing out. You can't charge if you are... Um, Concealed, but concealed. you can change it. Yes, you can. Okay. When you come to activate it, you can go, I don't want to be concealed anymore. I want to try and bite your face off. Yeah. So after the initiative phase, the strategic phase, we all get plus one command point. Bing, I'm, bing. I'm basically immediately spending mine to get the re-rolls on, yep. on shooting again. I've got my leader. Actually, I'm only going to use one of my uh, my strategic ploys, so I've got three command points left, and I'm going to use Hateful Assault, which is, until the turning point, each friendly bubonic Astartes operative that's activated does not perform a shooting action. It can perform two fight actions instead. Ooh. Mm. I mean, you can fight the same person twice. I could, yes. Oh, sexy. Very possibly. Sexy. I went first, forgetting that I lost that lost uh, movement rate, so I can't charge your big guy. No, because you you're, you're injured, so you you mo you lose one of your um, yeah. You lose I, one well, I think of, I think basically you're, well, you might not shoot you now because you've just done that attack thing. Um, okay, so I'm going to actually remember the mission. Remember the mission, Robin. and um, I'm going to take a dash action to here. I'm going to take um, an AP, and not an AP. I'm going to take a whatever that is, a secure action to gain another victory point. Two victory points, and I've only got a bolter, so I can't even shoot you. Yes, you can. No, is it a bolt? A bolt pistol? Oh, is it a bolt pistol? No, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I've only, I've only got a bolt pistol, so I can't shoot you. Oh. So I think actually you can just move away afterwards. Yeah. So in fact, sorry, I should have said this beforehand. I'm going to give him a because um, I can change the order. I'm going to give him a conceal order. Yep. My he only moves. He moves two circles, doesn't he? Yeah, he moves two circles, so I basically can get to if that's allowed hide. and hide down there is that all right i don't know if that counts as hiding or not i don't know i don't know whether i can get through there you, we did say i could but i can't really <laughs> so i'm going to activate some of my pox wall because again this guy's going to activate and he's going to claim that objective to give me two victory points uh, that does though mean that he can't do anything else because he loses one of his action points when he does so and he only has two this guy's just going to burble forwards to just try and get some cover there for now and hopefully survive a round of shooting, which I kind of doubt, but I mean, he is he is um, currently behind cover, so you can't target him at the moment. No, because he's concealed. Yes. Back okay. to you. Back to me. Okay, uh, for my next activation, I'm going to shoot with my leader at your leader. Now, I know this looks like a barrel here, but actually, it's not. It's just it's, an objective it's token. Just the objective don't token. Give, you don't give cover. No. Uh, unless we house rule it. We haven't decided that. So I'm just going to shoot... So I'm going to start then, I'm going to use, I, I quite, quite work out these weapon profiles as this Death Watch. It seems to me that Vengeance is just as good as Rending, or if not better, because it, it does 4-4 four, four damage, whereas my Hellfire attack, which has Rending, can turn one of my 3 damages into a 4 damage, but yeah. I can just use this one, which is all 4 damage. I'm going to go with the Vengeance attack. So it's two, four, 4 dice, 2 plus. I've got 3 dice, 3 plus. Ooh. 2. I One's am going to use my special ability to re-roll one and hit. Oh, okay. So you've got two successes and a crit. I've yeah. got a crit and a success. So there's one success. And one success so four on Four damage. Ouch. But you can do your disgustingly resilientness. My disgusting Brazilians have come out. And what do I get? Nothing again. Fours and threes. Fours wow. and threes. Okay, so four wounds taken on my boss. Oh, how many wounds does he have altogether? He has 13. Oh, can, he, can he be injured? Uh, yeah. No, yeah. Uh, oh, dead. actually, I don't know. No, he cannot be injured, which is quite handy. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's him activated. Okie dokie. Back to me then. Mm. So I'm going to activate my gunner next. He's going to move and dash to get behind this cover here. And then he's going to take a pot shot at your shotgun wielding blokey over there. He is going to run hot on his plasma gun too. <laughs> He's gradually frying his hands off. Pretty much, basically, yeah. So plasma gun is four dice and three plus. I have uh, three saves. Three plus. 
Ooh. Oh, now I am running um, hot, so I do have an AP okay. of two, I think. Ooh. So oh, yeah. you only get one defense dice. You yeah. are in cover, so you can either just take a successful save, oh, okay. I or you could roll for a crit. I rolled a crit, but I only roll one. Um, I will, I will take a successful just save. Take a successful save. So I miss one, and I, you take one away. So it's a crit and a hit. Ow! It's eleven damage. And what's the plasma's crit special rule? Does it have any? No. Okay. It's eleven damage. Only got away with it because you didn't take any damage. I eleven actually... damage. I'm still alive. But not very. <laughs> but very much unwell. I'm mostly no, dead. Oh, i the shotgun bloke. Oh, sorry. Not your champion. Okay. He's in very much pain. Hmm. Ow! So how many wounds do your guys have? Oh, actually, he might be dead. Because he, I was thinking it was, the, and I think he has 11. So, he is a warrior, isn't he? Yeah, so he would be dead. Oh. But, but. Big butts. Yeah, oh, I like a big but I cannot lie. I'm going to use one of my CPs oh. to. Um, yeah, I'm going to use one of my CPs to use only in death does duty end. I use this tactical ploy when a, when, when a ready, friendly space marine operative is incapacitated, which you've just right. done. Yep. That operative is not removed from the kill zone until the end of my next activation and does not count as being injured. Oh, so he gets to basically do something now before he snuffs it. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's death or glory time, or death, death, or death and glory, hopefully. Death, or death, is, a, death is a definite. Uh, he's going to move up to here because he's not injured, so he can do that. And he's going to dash to here and stand on the edge. And then I'm just within range to use my shotgun with its Xeno Purge option. To be honest, you don't even need to go up there. You could be down here. I, I was worried about being too close to this person. Ended up being in an engagement. True, but I mean, if you're down here, you yeah. can be an inch away. Well, I, and well as long as you're within so. two inches, he's going to die after yeah, so the effect is the same. So it doesn't so matter anyway. The yeah. effect is the same. So, I, I, you know, I, I'm going to make the attack. Well, one way or the other, I'm going to make the attack. Yeah, yeah. So it is um, four dice, two up, but criticals do six damage. Oh, which, is, which is what. That's, that's, that's the draw. Sorry, they do five damage. That's the draw. I've got three three ups. You knocked my dice as it was going to be a six. Rubbish. So they all hit. Yeah. I'm going to re roll this one. So that's four hits. That was a save. Right, okay. So I've got two saves. <laughs> so it's a crit and a hit. A crit and a hit. How much damage hit, is it that? It will be eight. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so eight disgusting Brazilians. Oh, I got some that time. Oh, we got four that time. One, two, so four wounds. So uh, he's now up to six wounds. Oh, I wouldn't have killed him anyway, would I? But oh. you never know. <laughs> oh, so he's now dead. First, first, just marine blood to you. Okay, so I'm going to activate over here first, and one of my slimy dudes is just going to go over here. So he's activated. And I have to activate one of the ones over here as well because they have an, a group activation. So this guy's just going to move up to there. And that's me done. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to use this guy here. He's basically going to shimmy up here. He's going to dash to here. And he's going to claim this objective three, three points three objective. Three objective points. oh dear okay back to me then so i'm going to activate my champion on right now he's going to move forward to here and he's going to take he's going to have to move all the way through here and then he's going to take two shots at your guy this could be bad with his double bolter so i am going to take two shots at you because i used my my ploy at the beginning there. So the first one is four dice and it's two plus to hit. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay, so you got three saves and I only got three hits. One, so. one, one crit save, that makes a difference. So that does nothing. Okay. And then same again. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Should we use that for stamina? Ping, oh, ping, stamina ping, 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 ping. Yeah. Wow. Right. 
Well, that's that's that done. So we're back over to you, darling. Fine. I already vaporized one of your guys with a plasma gun. I'm okay at the minute. <laughs> You'll live with that, will you? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that for now. Okay. Uh, so I think I'm going to activate this guy. I'm just going to go zip. So that's basically a whole movement to get to the top there. Yep. He's going to claim. Yep. In that case, I think I'm going to leave him there. I don't think there's any benefit in moving closer. Or you can shoot me. <laughs> So back to me again then. So I'm going to activate my pox walkers last. One of them is just going to wander through over to there. I completely forgot the overwatch rule actually. I don't think. It's going to move over to there. It would have made much difference. And that's them activated. So that's uh, that's, that's the end of turning point two. Whoa. Dosh. Time to roll for initiative for round three or turning point three. Mm, say. Yes. <laughs> One. Four. Oh my God. Right. I think, uh, I think I'll go first. You're going to go first. So you get a command point. Command point. I, uh, he'll get his own re rolls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to not use it because I then get two of the. You can stay alive. <laughs> uh, Assuming you can use that twice. I yeah, I, th I don't think there's any restriction on the number of times. I guess you can really only use it on the same person once, but I don't think there's any restriction on the number of times you can use it. Yes, because they'll be dead after the next yes. activation. Yeah. So. Okay, makes sense. Um, for me, I, hmm, I'm i going to use two of mine. I'm going to I'm going to go down to two. So I'm going to use Contagion, which is basically uh, anybody within circle of a friendly Death Guard operative Basic counts as injured. Ooh. Um, and then I will also use the Hateful Assault, which basically allows me to shoot twice with my bolt gun if I do not uh, make an, a, you know, a close combat fight action. And that's me done. So over to you for your first activation. Mm. I feel like I probably should play the percentages and, and uh, try and get as many objectives as I possibly can. But screw that. There's a bloody great Xenos over there. <laughs> a plague Marine. I'm going to go and attack him. I'm not a Xenos. I'm a, a traitor. I'm a traitor. I'm going, to go and, I'm going to go and attack him. So you can change that from change a... It to, change it to engagement. And I'm just going to hit you really hard in the face with my power ball. Ow! I've got a power ball. Because pass. that's more cinematically exciting. It is. That's well, then guys, just going over true. here and, and not doing yeah. anything. And saying, I win. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to use the and they shall know no fear, which basically means until the end of that operative activation, I can ignore any modifiers to its APL where there aren't any of those. Uh, but um, it's also not injured, so I Boo. don't I don't take into account your my my horribleness your horribleness from, from my ploy. Boo. Okay, so I've got my power fist. Yeah, yeah. I forgot you could hit me back. <laughs> This wasn't part of the rules. Uh, but I have got the storm shield, which yeah. means that I can get rid of two. Yep. Oh, no. I've rolled pants. Oh, so have I. I've rolled more ones. <laughs> All right, okay. I've, I've, oh, God. Power more, I've rolled, oh, it's three plus. I've actually hit three times. You've hit three times. Yeah. I've got, my power fist is three plus, so I've hit one. So, I can you cancel two of those. Well, I only hit one. So you can use your first attack to parry my attack. Each time it fights a combat and the result, yep. Yeah, I'll parry that. So with your first attack, you're going to parry my attack, so I then effectively have no attacks left. Yeah, and I just do two lots of attack damage. Ow, and how much is that? Uh, eight. Ow, okay. Here come those disgusting Brazilians. Oh, not too bad. One, two, three, three four, five wounds. Five. See, I probably shouldn't have done that, because now you're not dead. I'm up to nine. So I'm going to take these two guys down here. So they move... Only four and a dash for seven in total. So they get to the top and then a couple of inches along. So they're both basically just going to go bleh, 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 up onto there. I hear that Frank guy is wounded. So over here, I'm going to activate this guy. And he's going to claim this. Take me up to five. Ooh. 
He's going to move to here. Hello! Oh. And then he's going to shoot your Ew. marine there. Ew. And he's going to use a shell. Just going to fire it. <laughs> yeah, so it's AP1. Out. And it's 3 plus, 4 oh. dice, 3 plus, AP1. And there's no cover. Okay, so I have three, three and three. Oh, oh. saved one. Two. Oh, I can't re-roll because it's not close enough. So you hit once. How many wounds is that? Uh, five. Five, aren't you? Okay. I only four. saved one of those. Four, Ow, four wounds. We've got ten wounds. <laughs> die! <laughs> you just die! Right, well, I guess back to my activation. I'm going to activate... Um, I've already flipped his token over, but he's going to activate now. And he's going to shoot back at you with his plasma gun. I'm going to overcharge it again. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Oh, that could be exciting. How many wounds do you have? <laughs> he might die soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, I have, do I have a supercharge? I think I am going to supercharge it, because why not? How many? How many? So he's only got two wounds left. So, <laughs> so if you get a one, he's dead. Well, oh, no, I've you got disgusting could, resilience, could disgusting so resilient it depends. Save, yeah. It depends. So supercharged is four dice, and it's three plus. You, uh, it's AP two. So I only get one. So only get one I'm not in cover, so I've just got to roll this dice. There we go. Five. Oh, that's enough. That's and you've got lots of threes. I've got all hits. Oh, so that's just one out. So, so that's probably enough to kill him. That's three hits, and it's about five damage each. Yeah, that's enough to kill him. <laughs> Bazap. Plasma guns be nasty, yo. Yeah, they really are. Oh, so plasma weapons, stinky hard. Yeah. So whilst I have now killed two of your guys, yeah, I don't feel like oh, I'm not winning, basically. So it's you five know, two is it? Five two at the minute, yes. It's going to be five three by the end. It might, yeah, yeah. Well, it could be six three. Yeah, I think it'll be six three by the end of this round. So mm. I don't know if I'm going to win this. So anyway, back to you. So I'm going to use my boss to shoot at your boss. He's not a boss, he's just a plasma gun. Oh, just gun, a plasma gun guy. Just. Yeah, sorry, just, just, just killed two of my men, but apart from that, he's not the boss. Yeah, plasma uh, guns do appear to be rather, yeah. rather OP. Mm. So he's going to use the Vengeance, Vengeance. which is two plus. But no minimum range or anything, so... No minimum range, yeah. Four dice. Oh, actually, could you use no cover? Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, because you haven't got that many wounds left, have you? Only three. Yeah, I'm going to use no cover. Which is two plus. Which one's that one? That's Dragonfire. Dragonfire. Dragon What's the range on that one? That's not a range. No, 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 I haven't got any range. Okay. So three plus threes dice for me. And I need twos. Oh. And I can re-roll anything. You don't need to. I don't need to. So that's four hits, including a crit, I've which is four damage. One save. So two hits and a crit from you. How much damage is two that? Two hits and a crit is ten damage. So you need how many invulnerable saves? Many. <laughs> Well, they've sucked so far, so ten <laughs> dice. I've got three wounds remaining, so I need to save eight of these. If you do it. Well, I'm I know you've had quite bad roll. I if you do it, I should be quite upset. No. Oh, it's close, though. It's four. very close. You've got four. Oh, it's nowhere near close. It's not close at all. Four. Four's a multiple of eight, at least. Because you've got two activate. Oh, I had two three activate. Deed. You've killed him. Kill Frank. Yeah. Okay, so it's back to. Oh no, no, you you shot, so you you can move or whatever you oh, want yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to um, charge. After blowing him to pieces, he's just going to jump over here and clobber that poor yeah. little pox walker to death. He's going to earn his. He's going to earn his fees. So it's three plus because it's minus one to each thing, but it's five dice. Okay. And it's it, it's got a lethal five plus, so it means if I get five, they're crits. Okay. I've got six. Whoa. I've got two hits, and I'll re-roll this one. I didn't save anything. Okay, no, I didn't do that. So it's a crit and two hits. Yeah, that's a total of seventeen damage. <laughs> oh, no, I tell a lie. That's a power fist. Sorry, I misread that. <laughs> I was gonna say it's uh, it's uh, fourteen damage. Oh, is that? What, uh, <laughs> oh, that's much easier. Okay, so disgustingly resilient. Here's the first seven. Okay, so I've knocked three. So I've got four wounds from that. Yep. I need to save about five of these at least to not die. All very close, three. but not. So 
He took three wounds and four wounds. <laughs> but he did wounds. Splurgle. Splurk. Ew. And the barrel fell over as well. Okay. Um, back to me then. He's just going to do his thing. Okay. Because I haven't done that yet, and I probably should just in case to get me, <laughs> okay. to get me a point. It's back to me. No, no, I'm going to have to activate Oh, you're to activate that guy. I think you're going to be up near this. And this guy's just going to activate and just move up to the top there. Just shift that over a little bit, just so he doesn't fall off. Um, but that's him activated okay. as well. I think I'm going to activate this guy here. Yep. I'm going to charge onto there. I'm going to smack you with this. Uh, <laughs> with your pa- um, I think it's power a power hammer, isn't it? It's a hammer, yeah. It's not a pa- it's a power weapon. So it's the same as the last one actually. Um so it's oh it's only three pluses, it's only three plus to hit, so it's not quite as good. And you are not, you're still um so it only changes it to four plus, doesn't it? Because you're you're yes. so I, I think I've only got one wound. You've only you? got to do one okay, wound. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that then. I'm not yeah. gonna use that. Okay. Well I have saved one. So that's three hits. Okay, so I save no one criticals. of them. So two oh, no, hits. It might be critical because it's lethal. So it's one critical, which is six damage. Ouch. And then two hits is four. So it's 14 damage again. So you've got to roll 13. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> Boyge. Okay. Okay, so that's a charge and an attack. Yeah, and then for the final thing, I'm going to put uh, his last AP secure on this one. So it's six with his last APL. Oh, okay. I've got the wrong token. It's back to me, and I've got I've got two activations left. Oh, have you? Yeah, I've got one pox walker on my boss. Okay, so I am going to get an Overwatch. You will get an Overwatch, yes. Yeah. So I'm going to activate next. I'm going to hit you with my boss, who's got a power fist, which is uh, five dice, three plus. I've got a power maul, five dice, three plus. Oh, okay. Okay, and I can re-roll one of those, because I've got, um, he's within... Within six uh, of your, your boss man. Oh, I missed. Okay, so for my first attack, I'm going to hit you with my power fist, which is going to do seven damage. Okay, so that will, will, should kill him, because you've only got one wound left. Yeah. But I'm going to use my final command point yeah. to um, not die until after my next activation. Oh, yes, the, uh, is it they shall know no fear? Or oh, or or is death it? is not the end, or something or like that. Only, only in death does duty end. Okay. Which basically means he he uh, yeah. stays around till the end of the next activation. The next, my next activation, oh, he'll okay. be around. He so will next... get to fight again next turn. But it, except, yeah. if he, but he's already activated, hasn't he? Yeah, but it's interesting. Until the end of your next activation. So does that mean it goes across a turning point? I don't know. No, I, I, I'm assuming it's not. Well, it's. It doesn't say. It needed an FAQ. Yeah. So. I mean, it feels a bit odd. Clear. Yeah, it does. Feel, <laughs> I, don't, I would assume it doesn't carry on over activation points, uh, over, over turning points. Turning points, but it's yeah. Not, it, it, the, as written, it does. Cause it but does, it does. It does stop me right now because I was going to kill you and go and claim that objective. Now yeah. I can't do you can't that. Know, and I, well, I'm going to do some damage to you. Yes, that is true. Because I've do got that two me. crits. So, ouch. And it's. Um, well, hold on. We take it in turns. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to apply a crit to you. How much damage is that? Uh, Five and it's got stun. I don't know, uh, that removes one of my APL. Right, although okay. I can't do anything else after this now right. anyway. Well, you could fall back, I, but you can't. I could, yeah, I can't <laughs> do that now either. Okay, so you're going to do five damage to me. Oh, I just realised I've got minus one, so that misses because it's my, you've got your play. Oh yes. thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that misses. Uh, okay, I'll then use my. Oh no, other... I haven't got minus one because he can't be injured. <laughs> oh, well, that's a good point. <laughs> so yeah. I bring it back again. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I'll use my other five to do another. Continue um, damage. It's five damage to you. Okay, we're still alive. Yeah, well, so it doesn't I'm matter. I'm going to assign the crit. Yeah. To do another five. Yeah. And I've got no more. Okay, and I'm going to use the three to assign another four. Okay, so fourteen damage. Yeah. He seems to like that. Yes. Okay, so I shall roll my disgusting Brazilians on those. Probably should have done it at each time, but okay, so that's four wounds. <laughs> so, oh, that's thirteen. I yeah. think he's dead. Oh, that's a really nice ability that, that is re- if you get the timing right so I can take an overwatch action yep so I'm going to shoot at this guy here with the overwatch action okay so I am in cover or oh, you're using the one that removes cover I oh, will use the one that removes cover okay uh, two plus four dice ouchie I've got three dice six plus nothing oh only two but I can re-roll one and oh, a crit. That's a crit. Is that 14 so, damage? 
I don't think it is, no. It's uh, the crit is four, and the other two, are, so it's ten damage. Okay. So how many saves do you need to not die? Uh, he's got seven wounds. So you need three. Four. Four. Oh, and I get it. Four. I get one, two, three, four. So he takes six wounds. Four. But he ain't dead. That could be vital. That was very helpful for me. <laughs> and then it goes back to my activation yeah. again. Now this guy, this guy's now dead. Oh yes, he's now dead. So you can get to hit you. You can't get there, but so you can I get shall near move it. this blokey for my last activation. He's just going to stumbly flump yeah. over to there in preparation for next turn. <laughs> and that's the end of the third turn. But it's six plays three. It's oh. close stuff. That's on to turning point four. Time to roll for initiative for the third, the fourth round. Five. One. Ah, it's your turn to roll the one. I win. <laughs> okay. Um, I get a command point, so I'm up to three. Oh, yeah, I get one. Uh, I might as well I'm use one. the the one which gives counts you all as being injured when you're within okay. the circle of me because uh, yeah. there's nothing else I can really do about that. And then it's over to you if you want to use anything. Uh, I don't. Okay. So we're on to the activations. I will go first. So my first activation, I am just going to activate the bloke all the way over there at the back. Um, he's already got his token very handy turned over and he's just going to claim that objective, putting me up to four. Over to you. Well, I'm just going to move to here and claim this objective because it's done on APLs and I've got more than you. It is, you have three and I only have two. Yep. So you go up to seven. I do. Big smelly cheat. You're going to use. Oh, I realised. I realised. I need to activate two of my pox walkers. Ah, uh, okay. So you can. Do, you can. So do... I would have activated him to claim uh, that one. Ah, okay. Right. Okay. So okay, that changes everything then. So that both of those have activated, and I've claimed yeah. both of those. So it's back to you. That changes everything. Uh, I'm not going to take any chances in that case. I'm going to claim this one. Okay. To make it seven. Um, oh. And then I am just going to charge. <laughs> <laughs> and club him in the face. Yeah. Uh, do we actually need to do these combats? Because I think you're going to claim this. Uh, then, yeah, that then... combat is pretty much a foregone. Even yeah. if I'm not dead, I'm not going to yeah. survive. No. And I'm not going to kill you because you're completely uninjured. Yeah. So whatever happens there, I'm just going to claim this one. Yeah. Um, there's nothing left to claim. And go up to six. And I've got seven. You might kill him, you might kill him. Mm. Six plays seven. What? What a game. Six plays seven in the end there. That was pretty close. Yes. I, I don't think I used some of my... I've got some ploys that I completely forgot to use. Oh, no. Um, I, I have completely... Just so much going on. Even yeah. though it, still, it feels like they should be easier. I've got one which is when a, an Astartes is killed, I can do D3 mortal wounds on somebody, although that one wasn't so much use. I've got um, a dig-in one, which, again, possibly would have been useful with my Plaza Gun guy over there because that would add one to his defensive characteristic. <sighs> His defence characteristic, we want to get extra dice. Yeah. And then I have a revolting durability, which is uh, use this ploy in either the resolve successful hit or resolve successful save step, um, mainly against the Plague Marine. I can change one of my critical hits into a normal... I can change one of your opponent's critical hits into Ooh, a normal hit. That's good. I don't know if it would have made that much of no, a difference that one overall. Not. So. And of course, it's one of those things, oh, I had all these things and I had all these points, but of course, had you used them, you wouldn't have had the points. Well, I, had the points <laughs> so, I did have three, I think, left at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's hard to tell. Um, I'm quite amazed that some of my poxwalkers managed to get up to the, to the tops of things in the end. Yeah, I mean, it kind of shows that you need to play to the objectives, which I don't yeah. know whether it's... it's is a little bit of detriment to the game. For example, had I gone here and taken this one, the previous turn, yeah, I think the game, the result wouldn't have been in much doubt. I mean, it, would it would have been, been yeah, I think it would have, have got an extra point, would have been yeah. on five or something like that. But that said, it also shows the importance of, of making sure, you know, a one wound fighter, if you can activate them, because at the end you managed to activate these two pox walkers and get those yeah. two things, which made it incredibly close. And you couldn't might have thought, oh, one wound, I'm basically done for. Um, 
So, but even a one wound fighter could swing, could swing the game. Yeah, I mean they're handy because when they're injured, they still don't lose any of their. Yes. Um, it, well, it doesn't affect APL, yeah. but it affects movement. But it doesn't for them because they're slow as heck anyway. But yeah, I suppose yeah, you can only you can't you have to be you have to use two AP to to. Same objective because well, you were yeah. right next to all of them, and didn't, so you didn't need to move. Yeah, that was kind of the thing. Go. I kind of feel like maybe my plasma gun guy. I can't, I don't think actually I could have done any better with him. I think he took out two of your operatives, and he just, he soaked up a lot of fire. We've both got well. two fighters left. Yeah, I'm, it's interesting. I heard somebody saying saying today or shooting his OP, and it is pretty strong. But I almost wonder whether you're better going for. Scoring you as many objectives as you possibly can. I think you well. I guess it depends on the situation, it, as all these things. But I think if if you're if you've got a chance of going, if you know you can get an objective point, I think that should always be choice number one. Seems seems to be. I mean, it, it could be different. If had we been playing with attack ops cards, then maybe you could have scored uh, future points another way. Of course, maybe I could too. But in open games, you're not really meant to use no exactly no ops. no. And um, I do feel like open play is possibly. The weakest of the three options, I think you should either go for match play, uh, or you should go for the narrative play. And I think we'll probably play some narrative stuff next. I think so. I think so. I mean, the, we haven't looked at the match play yet. The, the setup for that's quite complex. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when I, I enjoyed that, and it's um, I quite enjoyed its simplicity. And even though it was simple, it was there was still some head scratching, and then we still missed like you forgot to use your, you forgot to use your. Um, I can't remember what they're called. You forgot to use your command points. Yeah. And, you know, so had we got, had we been playing with equipment and stuff, I feel like we probably would have completely might fluffed, up. Things <laughs> <that> was, <laughs> fluffed uh, up using it. Yeah, I know. I, I there are, Yeah, there are a few equipment things that would have been quite funky for me to use. Um, you know, I had but everyone's got all kinds of yeah, <laughs> so, weird, funky stuff like yeah. that. But, um, but I think even, next up, even playing just a really basic game like that, that was still great fun. It was. I really, really enjoyed it. It was funny. I thought it was going to be over quite quickly, but then actually the last stages took longer because I think there was more, almost more decision making because every decision counted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We uh, thought that. Oh, I'm only having five marines versus. Yeah. Uh, my, my well, I had eight. I had ten models, but I mean, I was activating two of them at a time with yeah. the with the pox walkers. So, and when when the first few of my pox walkers got just blown into grizzly chunks. I thought, oh, these guys are going to drop like flies, but they didn't actually as much as I thought they were going to do. And um, no, well, I had to, I had to focus fire on your big guys because they could just cut through me. They did cut through me. I mean, we've got two men left each. Yeah, um, yeah. I've been thinking. My champion took out your your guy with the um, with the shield. Mm. I think he nearly did all of the doubt, all of the work with the bolt gun alone when he really shot him to pieces. Uh, and the plasma gun guy, plasma is lethal in this game. I think yeah. it's it's pretty much, especially for these guys, because they've got the ability to ignore those or to possibly shrug off those wounds. But I think you nearly always want to go for um, overcharging. Saying that, I was probably insanely lucky in that I don't think I ever got more than about two you wounds. You did it the first time and that was it. Yeah, and the first time I didn't do any wounds to you. <laughs> yeah. I did two to myself. I was yeah, like, yeah. oh good, it's going to be like that. <laughs> but then every time yeah. after I supercharged, I don't think I rolled any end, ones. you could have killed yourself. Yeah, um, but instead you just wiped me. Uh, yeah. But you were pretty unlucky in other places. What is interesting is that the low numbers of the Marines means that Overwatch is really powerful. Yeah, um, and that command point for getting somebody to survive through to the next turn is pretty good. For if the space you hadn't Marines. used that, that possibly saved you the game. It might have because yeah. if you hadn't used that, I would have killed him, moved over, and claimed that objective, yeah. Yeah. and then I would have done it on the second round. I would have possibly got three glory. Yeah. Uh, three victory points in the in the next round, so I would have been up to I've been up to seven, and you'd have been down to yeah. I, I, it might have been a draw then. It okay. might have been seven all possibly. Oh, yeah, I didn't claim that one. Yeah. So, yeah. so so duty does not end in death, you see, and that's what that's, exactly. that's exactly what happened. He stayed stayed there, bogged you down, and exactly whilst whilst he was trying to get through to to opening that barrel to dump that last yeah, death, virulent yeah. charge, and he he managed to keep him back. He managed to get keep it out. Yeah. I really loved that game. It was really fun. I really enjoyed that. So next time we might try some narrative play. It might be straight up Octarius with all the Octarius scenery, but more likely it'll be with this variety of scenery. But we'll try and set up an Octarius type campaign. Yeah. Might bring 
the Death Corps might bring my intercessors. Ooh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I've got I've got possibility of maybe Nurgle demons Ooh. sitting at home still. I've got I could have another makeup with the with the Death Guard as well because I could do four Marines. I quite like than, it when you're in your Death Guard makeup. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe four Marines uh, instead, or maybe just brutal. a load of Nurgle demons. Possibly. Four Marines would be could be nasty, but it would be very hard to to pin down the um, objectives. That's that's the thing, isn't it? And it depends on uh, on your missions. Your missions are, you know, vitally important. Yeah. It doesn't matter if everyone's dead by the end if you scored enough objectives. Yeah. That's the whole thing, really. We probably have missed out a few things, like we should have done a few things here and there. So inevitably, you know, do let us know if there's anything really obvious that we were playing wrong, rather than just forgot. Because <laughs> um, if we forgot, then that that list is big. Yeah. But if we were very obviously playing some rules repeatedly wrong do let us know and we can we can yeah. keep an eye on that still not entirely sure of the cover rules i think it was a little bit better this time um but um i'm still I still, got still confuses my head it confuses my head i think we got that one in the yeah. end and uh, and i think you know you get some painted terrain it looks fantastic it does look really good and it's so um contained thematic and yeah it's so contained you know it's yeah. got on this tiny little area and it just really works it does yeah, yeah. You, you're, you're ducking down to see where you can see things and that kind of stuff you know what we need laser pens we need a couple of little laser pens so we can see where line of sight is without and try to <laughs> get our head under the table or whatever it is we need to do but it's just nice to have a little bit of variety and no bare plastic yeah. i'm i'm one of the first people to say you know what if you don't want to paint your models don't paint them you don't have to that's that's part of the hobby it's a part of the hobby and not all of the hobby playing it collecting it assembling it. it's all part of the hobby but it does look good once it's all painted, and this does look fantastic. Very much so. Very much so. So I hope everybody at home enjoyed that. Um, we really enjoyed playing it. It took us less time than the previous game, but I don't know what the time is now. But... The time right now is half past 11. So it took about two hours, including this chat and preamble from when yeah. we actually got kicked off. So that's not bad that's not bad that's I not reckon bad. we can get down further yeah. um, one of the biggest issues we've got right now is the fact that um, we haven't got like cards no. for reference there's a lot of to and fro yeah if we had our, if we had our fighter cards somewhere a bit easier yeah. we're, we're trying to use some some just printouts that we've we've managed to take out the book just to make life a yeah, bit well, easier trying, but it transpired we couldn't read half of them so yeah, we still it doesn't, doesn't make through it easier um, and, uh, and also I think and this is something they really need to do is you need a deck of cards like this with all your ploys in so i can see us having to do that at some point is, yeah. is create a load of uh, just a, a hand of cards with the ploys and stuff it like that it frustrates me slightly that they don't have better digital support for their games yeah. because this you know digital rule books digital cards because yeah. you could don't need to read through the book but I, mean, I only, only had three ploys that i could use yeah it'd be yeah. much nicer just to have you know, like a digital copy of them, and they're just yeah. you know, these are the things I can have on an iPad or something. That would just or be it would just be nice for them to come out with a deck of the, all the different ploys and stuff, or something like that again. But well, it would, it would, that would be nice. But then that's more money, more you know, more whatever. money, but more I money, just, more I feel money. Like a, 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 I just feel like they they make their games complicated with bolt on bolt on things, and they ought to support that with an app. If true, that's I what feel I feel like. That is the case. I kind of feel a little bit like if you do that, you're still likely to miss it. But if you have it in cards in front of you, and you've got your hand of cards like in Underworld, you yeah, get your Yeah, because we never miss your... anything in, in Underworld. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and on that bombshell. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, what else would you like to see in the future? We are raring to go to collect other kill teams, I yeah. think it's fair to say. I we... mean, I think probably that you're not going to see too much until the third, the next wave comes out. Yeah. different things because we don't want to be buying in I don't want to buy into Skitari saying no. it and then, then bring out a new Skitari kill yeah. team we're going to wait to see what the next one is yeah. I think before we make any more choices that and we said, are I've got Skitari on the paint table yeah. so. <laughs> um, and you know maybe we can get some Necrons out there as well uh, yeah there's there's a lot of choices here but I think we're probably going to look to try and do the narrative campaign with Definitely. the Death Corps and the Orcs Unless, yeah, yeah, let us know in the comments below if you would rather see something else rather than that might be a couple of weeks before you see that though because we have a few secret things coming Ooh. that are secret Secret, secret things. Mm -hmm. So I hope you all enjoyed that one. Do let us know. Do give us thumbs up. Do you know like and follow and subscribe and send us tell your mates tell, tell, tell your mates all your that kind of Send us lots of love mail and all the rest of yeah. it. And we'll see you soon in Octarius. Bye. <clears throat> Bye. Bye. <laughs>